Yeah, what's the matter, Pomni? Oh, thanks for coming, Foxy and Boxy. I'm just really, really tired because I'm running this hospital completely alone today. And I have all these characters to take care of. It's so stressful. Oh, well, we can help you run the hospital today, Pommy. Yeah, we'll help you run the hospital. We'll be Dr. Foxy and Nurse Boxy. Who's the first patient on the list? Oh, wow. Thanks, Foxy and Boxy. That's really nice of you. I really do need the help today. So the first patient on the list is going to be Hoppy Hopscotch, right behind this green door. Can you help them out? Sure, we can help them out, Pommy. But before we do, we got to make sure everyone at home likes and subscribes. Yeah, like the video, guys. Then we can go help Hoppy Hopscotch. All right, Boxy. Let's go help Hoppy Hopscotch. Let's go! <laughs> okay, Boxy, here we are with the first patient. It's Hoppy Hopscotch. Let's see what's wrong with them. Yeah, what's wrong, Hoppy Hopscotch? Oh, 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 Foxy and Boxy, thanks so much for coming. Oh, I'm feeling really, really sick. I think I might have a fever. Oh, no, you think you got a fever, Hoppy Hopscotch? Well, here, let's take your temperature and see how sick you are. <laughs> Okay, we got a thermometer here. We just gotta place it on Hoppy Hopscotch's head, and then it'll take their temperature. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, let's see what the temperature is. Whoa, it's 400 degrees. That's really, really sick. That means Hoppy Hopscotch does have a fever. Oh, how are we gonna make him feel better, Boxy? Well, how about we feed Hoppy Hopscotch some medicine? That might make them feel better, right, Hoppy Hopscotch? Oh, yeah, that, that might make me feel better. Can I have some medicine, Boxy? Of course, Hoppy Hopscotch, here you go. Hmm, okay, now do I feel any better after that? Hmm. Mm. No, I don't. I still feel really sick, guys. Help! Oh, no, you don't feel any better, Hoppy Hopscotch. Well, let's take your temperature again and see what it is now. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Oh. oh, my gosh, it's 500 degrees. You're getting worse by the second. You're even more sick than you were before. Oh, no, what are we going to do, Foxy? <laughs> okay, Foxy, I found these big old ice cubes in the freezer in the kitchen. And we're going to use these to try and cool down Hoppy Hopscotch. Temperature. Are you ready, Hoppy Hopscotch? Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Give it a shot. Okay, here we go. Let's cool you down. Oh, oh, okay, let's see if I feel any better after that ice. Hmm. No, I feel even worse than I did. Oh, no, you feel even worse. We'll take your temperature again and see what it is. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, what is it? Oh no! Now your temperature is over 9,000! You're even sicker than you have been the entire time! What are we gonna do? This is a real emergency, Foxy! Oh, I know, Boxy, but I got a plan! Wheel Hoppy Hopscotch out of here! Let's go! <laughs> All right, Boxy, I got the hose. We're gonna use this to cool down Hoppy Hopscotch. Are you ready, Hoppy? Oh, uh, yeah, just do it. All right, Hoppy, here we go! Do you feel better, Hoppy Hopscotch? Oh, oh, hey, Foxy, Boxy, I feel so much better. Thank you. Yeah, we did it, Boxy. We made Hoppy Hopscotch feel better. Yeah, now let's go help the other patients, Foxy. <sighs> All right, we did a great job helping Hoppy Hopscotch back there, Boxy. Now, who's the next patient? Oh, wow. Thank you for helping Hoppy Hopscotch, guys. I'm glad to hear he's feeling much better now. The next patient is going to be Jax behind this purple door. Now, Jax, he's got a lot of broken bones. Can you guys help him? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, sorry about that, Foxy. Of course, Pomni. We can help out, Jax. Uh, wow. Thanks, guys. Uh, good luck. And uh, try not to hurt him, okay? Oh, of course, Pomni. We're going to do our best, and we're going to help Jax out. Are you ready? to go, Boxy? Yeah, I am, Foxy. All right, let's go! <coughs> okay, Boxy, here we are in Jax's room. Yeah, let's see what's wrong with Jax. Oh, uh, he looks really bad. Oh, Foxy and Boxy, please help. I fell off the playground and I broke all my bones. Oh, Jax, you're such a silly guy, but don't even worry about it. We're gonna get you straightened out. You holding down, Boxy? Yeah, I'm holding him down, Foxy. Hey, what do you mean holding me down? All right, here we go. Let's grab his leg and we're gonna pull on three. You ready? Three. Oh, no, no. Two. No, no, no. One. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, guys, that really, really hurt. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry, Jack. But look, we fixed your leg and it's all better now. Oh, yeah, I guess you did. Thanks, guys. All right, great work. Now it's time to do your arm. Jax, are you ready, Boxy? Yep, I'm ready, Foxy. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, man, that was pretty tough, guys. But, yeah, look, you fixed my arm. I'm all good now. Well, we're not quite done yet, Jax. We still have one more thing to do. We have to straighten out your ear. Oh, yeah, huh? I forgot about that, huh? Just get it over with, I guess. Uh, okay, Foxy, I'm holding him down. This one's really gonna hurt. Thank you, Dr. Boxy. All right, here we go, Jax. We're gonna get your ear straightened out once and for all. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, this is a little harder. Oh, that made me dizzy. But hey, look at that. You guys fixed my ear. I'm all better now. You guys are the best doctors ever. Oh, don't even worry about it, Jax. It's all in a day's work. But you know, duty calls. We gotta go help the other patients now. Isn't that right, Boxy? Yeah, we gotta go help the other patients. We'll see you later, Jax. Uh, all right, see you later, Foxy and Boxy. Good luck. <laughs> Wow, I'm glad we helped Jax, but, uh, you know, he was kind of screaming a lot. I hope he's okay. Oh, he's doing fine, Boxy. Now, let's see who the next patient is. Oh, uh, wow, it sounded like there was a lot of screaming going on in there. But good job helping Jax, I guess. So, the next patient is behind the blue door. It's Huggy Wuggy. Do you think you guys can handle that? He's kind of scary. Oh, of course we can handle it. Ain't nothing too scary for Foxy and Boxy. Isn't that right, Boxy? Yeah, we're not scared of anything. Huggy's just a big baby. Yeah, let's go help Huggy out. Woo! All right, Foxy, here we are in Huggy Wuggy's room. Oh, I know, Boxy, Huggy Wuggy is really scary, but remember, we ought to be professionals. We're here to help. You hear that, Huggy Wuggy? We're here to help you. So what's wrong, buddy? Oh, hey, Foxy and Boxy. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you today. I've got way too much of a bellyache. Oh. oh, no, you have a bellyache, Huggy Wuggy. That's no good. How about we take an x-ray of your belly so we can see what's wrong. Huggy Wuggy, did you eat a soccer ball? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I have a bellyache because there's a soccer ball in my tummy. Yeah, you know what? I did eat a soccer ball this morning. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, Huggy Wuggy, you silly Billy. Soccer balls aren't food. You gotta eat real food like chicken and donuts and mm, donuts. Oh, oh, sorry, I lost focus there for a second. I got a job to do. Don't worry, Huggy Wuggy, we'll help you out. We'll help you cough up that soccer ball and you'll be good to go. How about this, Huggy Wuggy? We'll take this wrap and we'll wrap it around your belly and we'll use it to squeeze your belly so tight that you gotta spit the soccer ball out. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm ready. All right. <laughs> It's no use, Foxy. It's not coming out. Oh, one more time. Oh, we gotta come with another plan. Foxy, Foxy, I know how to get the soccer ball out. Oh, what's your idea, Boxy? Watch this, Foxy. Oh, wow, look, Boxy, that actually worked. You caused Huggy to spit out the soccer ball. Okay, Huggy Wuggy, so how are you feeling now, buddy? Oh, oh, I feel so much better. Thanks, Boxy, that really worked. Although I will say I do kind of feel hungry now. What can I eat? Oh, a soccer ball, that looks delicious. Oh, give me, no, no, Huggy, stop, stop, stop. Oh, you're right, I won't eat the soccer ball. Thanks, Foxy and Boxy, I feel a lot better now. You bet, Huggy Wuggy, I'm glad you're feeling better. Now, I'm gonna take the soccer ball with me so uh, you don't eat it again. Let's go, Boxy. Okay, let's go, Foxy. Uh, uh, wow, uh, that was kind of gross, wasn't it, Boxy? Yeah, that was, that was kind of gross, but we helped him out and he's feeling a lot better. Guys, be quiet, I'm so glad you're here. I really need to tell you something. Kane is coming here right now and he's my boss. He runs the hospital and he's not supposed to know that you guys are here and helping me because that means I'm not doing my job. So, so just act natural and pretend that you're sick or something, okay? Uh, okay, Pomni, we'll pretend to be sick. Oh, he's coming. Hi, Pomni, I hope you're doing your job. How are the patients doing? 
oh, uh, things are going great. There's nothing to see here. You can, uh, you can go back to your office now, Kane. Oh, well, that's really great to hear. I'm glad people are feeling better. I guess I'll be going back to my office then. Oh, wait a second. Who's that? Oh, well, uh, we're just some patients here at the hospital because we're feeling very sick. Isn't that right, Foxy? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling real sick. I ate too many donuts and now I got a bellyache. Oh. oh, wow, they're really sick. You better take care of them, Pommy. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. I'll see you later, Kane. Bye, go. Oh, wow, that was a close one. Nice thinking, Foxy. Yeah, I'm not really sick. You think this many donuts would make me sick? Uh -uh, I can eat these in three seconds. Wow, nice job, guys. I don't think Kane suspected a thing. Also, that's really gross. You just ate donuts off the floor. Anyways, the next patient is behind this pink door. It's Opila Bird. Can you guys help Opila Bird out? Yeah, we can help Opila Bird out. Maybe she needs a donut. Hey, I don't think she needs a donut, Foxy. Okay, okay, fine. Let's go help Opila Bird. Let's go, Foxy. <laughs> oh no, Foxy! Opila Bird's crying! Why are you crying, Opila Bird? Oh, Foxy and Boxy, thanks for coming. I have a really, really bad toothache. I don't know what to do. Oh no, Opila Bird, you have a toothache? How about we try brushing your teeth? Oh, it doesn't feel much better, Boxy. It still hurts. Oh, no, Opila Bird. Your teeth still hurt after brushing them? That must mean you have something stuck in there. Let's try pulling it out with these tweezers. All right, Opila Bird. Let's see if there's anything in your mouth. Oh, oh there's something definitely in there. It's stuck. In. Oh, wow. Look, Opila Bird. There was a giant popcorn kernel stuck inside your beak. That's why you had a toothache. Well, it feels better, but it's still a little sore. Oh, of course, Opila Bird. If we use this bandage to wrap up your beak, then you'll no longer feel sore. <sighs> there you go, Opila Bird. That should feel better, right? How do you feel? <coughs> I don't understand what you just said, but I think you said you feel better. Great work, Dr. Boxy. Now on to the next patient. Nice, I did, Maxie. <laughs> Oh, nice, we helped out Opila Bird, Boxy. And oh, hey, look, there's a donut on the floor here still. I'm gonna eat. No, 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 don't eat that, Foxy. That, that's gross. It's been on the floor for a really long time. Mm, okay, I won't eat it, Boxy. Now let's. Oh, just kidding. Guys, 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 you can eat donuts later, but right now you really need to help me because Kane is gonna be back any minute and there are still two patients left. Uh, okay, Kane's coming back. Well, then we have to get to the next patient fast. Who's the next patient, Pommy? Guys, the next patient is Catnap, okay? Go, go, go! All right, let's go, Boxy! <laughs> okay, Boxy, now we gotta take care of Catnap. What could be the matter with him? Oh, I think I know what's wrong with him, Foxy. He looks pretty tired. Maybe he hasn't been sleeping. Oh, Foxy and Boxy, yeah, I am tired. I haven't slept in the last seven days. I've been playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 all night and all day, and now I'm starting to see things. Oh, it's Huggy Wuggy! Catnap, that's a curtain. Oh, man, you really gotta go to sleep, Catnap. Staying up that long is not healthy for you. How about we give you this shot that has some sleeping medicine? Oh, 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 a sleeping medicine shot? Oh, I'm too scared of getting shots. I can't do it. Oh, Catnap, don't be silly. It's just one little shot. It's not gonna hurt that much. You have to take your sleeping medicine. We have to go help the other patients. No, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. Anything but a shot. Oh, anything? Okay. Okay. Wow, Boxy, Catnap actually fell asleep after that. That was some really quick thinking, Boxy. You're a very good doctor. Aw, thanks, Foxy. Okay, bye, Catnap. We're gonna go help the last patient now. See you later. <laughs> okay, we helped out Catnap. Now, who's the last patient, Pommy? Guys, the last patient is Ban-Ban behind this red door. But I'm gonna warn you right now, he's really, really angry. Oh, he's angry? That's kind of scary, but you know what? We dealt with Huggy Wuggy so we can deal with Ban-Ban too. Right, Boxy? Yeah, Foxy, let's go. <laughs> okay, Boxy, this is the final patient. Now, I know Ban-Ban's a little scary, but it's gonna be okay. We gotta do our jobs as good doctors and help him anyway, right? 
Yeah, we gotta help him anyway. Ban Ban, what's the matter? Why are you feeling so bad? Oh, Foxy and Boxy, you gotta help me. I'm so angry because my head hurts. I've got a really, really bad headache. What can you do about it? Oh, no, Ban Ban, that sounds really bad. You have a really bad headache? How much pain are you feeling on the pain scale? We have a little bit of pain, a little more pain, and a lot of pain. Oh, Boxy, I'm not just in a lot of pain. I'm the most pain I've ever felt in my life. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, it makes me so angry. Oh, no, Ban Ban, that sounds awful. You're in so much pain. Well, we can get you some pain medicine that makes the pain go away. It's really easy. It's just this little pill back here. <laughs> there we go. This pill, you take it, and you'll feel so much better. Oh, I don't know, Foxy. That's a pretty big pill. I don't know if I can swallow that. Oh, nonsense, Ban Ban. You gotta take your medicine if you wanna feel better. Open up wide. <laughs> oh, there you go, Ban Ban. How do you feel now? Oh, the pain went away. My head doesn't hurt anymore, and I'm not angry. Thank you, Foxy. Thank you so much. No problem, Ban Ban. I'm just the best doctor in the the world, yeah! Wow, great job, Foxy. You helped Ban Ban feel better. Now let's go tell Pommy how good of a job we did. Yeah, let's go, Boxy. <laughs> yeah, we did it, Foxy. We helped Ban Ban. Yeah, that means we saved all the patients, Boxy. Let's go! Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? Who are you two? Pommy, are you not doing your job? Well, look, here's the thing, Kane. I wasn't doing much today. It was mostly Foxy and Boxy helping me out. But look at our list. We helped more patients today than we ever have before. We checked them all off. Yeah, Kane, we helped out Hoppy Hopscotch and Jax and Huggy Wuggy and Opila Bird. Yeah, and we helped out Catnap and Ban Ban, too. We helped everyone. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm glad to hear all of the patients are feeling better. I don't know why you got donuts all over the floor, but that's besides the point. You guys did some good work today. You're welcome back at the hospital anytime. Wow, we did it, Boxy. We did a great job on saving all the patients, and now we're real doctors. We did it, Foxy. Let's go. Hey, Foxy.